Do power supplies reduce the need for power conditioning? Hmm. Okay, good question. It comes from Jeff in Atlanta, Georgia. And Jeff writes to me, does using a good quality linear power supply reduce or eliminate the need for power conditioners or power regenerators? This question is mostly directed at front end sources like DACs, phono preamps, streamers, CD players, galvanically isolated USB switches, and maybe some preamps. I believe most power amps have that covered by large internal transformers. Well, actually the opposite is kind of true. So power supplies, a linear power supply, and what he's referring to that is the, the traditional diode bridge capacitor based power supply when as opposed to a switch mode power supply which is which is we can talk about that at a, a later date if you want but that's a, a very different proposition for for switch switching supplies but a standard linear supply is basically they're pretty much all the same diode bridge capacitors then regulation or no regulation so in a power amplifier for example there's almost no power amplifiers are regulated. Maybe their voltage gain stage, the very front end, is, is regulated. Like in our stuff, we regulate that. But the output stage, the current stage, is, is not regulated. And it, that's very difficult to do. In a preamp or a DAC or a source, pretty much tons of regulation inside. And so when you ask the question, is power regeneration or power conditioning important in these, especially in the sources, if you're doing it to eliminate noise, RF and things like that, then the answer is pretty clear, no, because the power supply is going to eliminate any of those little wiggles and things from RF on the power supply. What it won't do is eliminate those on the ground because the grounds are all common. So a lot of times these emissions like radi uh, radio waves and things get in through the whole system. So it's in the ground, it's in the, on the line, and, and even a power conditioner is not going to get rid of that. <clears throat> so you're, you're kind of, you know. So yeah, it helps. It can help a little bit by providing some isolation, but not a whole lot. Regenerators, on the other hand, even if they did the identical job, and we use passive components before the regenerator <clears throat> to help lower that so it doesn't get into the ground system. And then a regenerator will produce perfect AC, regulated, clean, the whole bit on the output. And it sounds significantly better, but not for that reason. So regenerators, yeah, they do clean it up, but that's not what we're hearing. What we hear when we use regenerated power is lower impedance, greater access to instantaneous current, and regulation. So by regulating the voltage, we eliminate the problem of hundreds of feet of copper wire between the power source and your equipment. Because remember, when your equipment is on your you're modulating to the music, on a power amplifier anyway, the, the, the impedance, you know, the resistance of that wire. Is, it, it's what you can actually see the music on, on your wires. And, and they're oftentimes hundreds of feet. And you're sharing that power with your neighbor. And they're hundreds of feet, and his neighbor, and his hundreds of feet. Because usually a power pole a transformer is feeding a whole bunch of homes, or if you're an apartment complex, et cetera, right? So, a regenerator eliminates all of that haserai. All of it's gone, uh, or, or mishigas, whatever Yiddish term you want to use. That then becomes clean, regulated, and it doesn't matter what's happening over here. And that's what you hear, that because of the energy storage in one of, well, that's an amplifier, but same size sort of thing. Because we have energy storage, because we have active regulation, 
we can deliver far more instantaneous current than what's available from the wall. We can lower the output impedance. We can put out a perfect regulated sine wave. And that's what you hear, not the small elimination of noise. Yeah, it helps, but that, think of that as the sprinkle of sugar atop a, a sour grapefruit. Not the big deal. Okay? Thanks for the question. Thank you.